I, I'm, I, yeah, I'm sort of assuming it must be quite a surreal thing for you both at the moment to like to actually be releasing a movie in the cinemas after the you know, year and a half we've all had just now. So it, it really is, and the premiere was the first time we sat with a huge audience of children and parents, so that was really cool. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's got to be such a special thing. I mean, you, you must have seen it so many times in the screening rooms and on computers and things now, but like, to actually see it with an audience must be something else, surely. It totally so. is, because I'm a massive cinema fan. I mean, you know, the only reason to, like, go put yourself through the torture of writing, directing movies is because you love movies. Mm -hmm. So actually getting back to cinemas is pretty brilliant. Yeah. And, like, I see, like to see the reaction that it's had as well, you know, with reviews coming out of the weekend and all that, Kind of you know to see it connecting with people in that kind of way must be quite special for both of you as well i imagine yeah yeah cinema's a shared experience and that's what's wonderful about being in cinemas and seeing yeah. people laugh at your stuff is great we love it when people laugh yeah. at our jokes do, yeah. <laughs> and also yeah. for me some of the most fantastic feedback is i've been mm -hmm. sent pictures that kids have drawn of their own ideal bebop mm -hmm. and a photograph of a, a kid who was scared of the dark with a ron nightlight and those mm -hmm. are the things to me that mm -hmm. connection yeah. with the audience like that is the thing that you do it all for mm -hmm. yeah for sure that's going to be such a rewarding thing to see it sort of connect yeah connect in that kind of way yeah, yeah. i guess you're having it from premiere as part of the london film festival as well it's presumably got to be quite special just you know homegrown movie and that and sort of where else have it premiere i guess yeah um, and i mean for me though you know it's been like a 10-year a journey and a passion to kind of prove that we could make animated movies here in the uk and in london of the same quality that could compete with the major studios that are all in america i mean it's really hard to compete with them technically but i do think that the art team and the double negative team did a beautiful job but i think that you can compete in terms of stories you know our stories can be as valid as a story anywhere in the world and just, um, <coughs> pardon me, I guess kind of taking it back to the very beginning of that whole process, I guess, like, um, where did the idea for the movie come from in the first place? What kind of sparked it off for the both of you? Well, for me, it was actually the Spike Jones movie, Her, which is a kind mm. of weird place for a kid's film. But I thought, mm. you know, we need to make that movie for kids because my three-year-old was sort of obsessed with her iPad and constantly spouting adverts that she saw as though it was the actual truth. <laughs> and I thought we, don't, we need to be able to talk to kids about the experience. We're all kind of worried parents, worried about what's happening in that kind of digital world to our kids. Mm. Um, and so it was about the thing that we, you know, was such a big topic in my home friendships and what technology is doing to those mm -hmm. and was it a, i mean i'm guessing it wasn't her for both of you like did you have a did you, did, um, did you have a different take on it or did you kind of no come no back no with sarah, sarah first thought of it you know she 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 talked about her and everything but we also like we we, we quickly went well, well let's have a big fun adventure with this have a funny adventure and this this there's elements of like obviously like, like something like pete's dragon or those kind of stories which are about a kid or the iron giant where like a kid befriend something that an everyone else is looking for an <laughs> inappropriate friend yes. yeah <laughs> just a weird you know and obviously in ron you know once we started to think about ron and go well how can we tell a fun friendship story well we'll have barney get this device that's not on the internet and it's not like all the others and it's it's like when i buy a device and it doesn't work and i'm having a meltdown and i want to throw it out the window you know but then you know he's he, he's just a wonderful character so that was that was just a great fun challenge I think Pete brought the clown to Ron. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. I had the idea of the device that was different and the kids' relationship mm. with it. And Pete was like, what if it's an idiot that can't do the stairs? Mm. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I guess kind you of brought the, the idiot. I basically. did bring the you idiot. Brought yeah. the idiot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I channel it. <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you both so much for your time. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>